hovering, it's hovering, it's hovering. It's gone. Oh, no. It didn't go. Australia's first domestically built orbital rocket has crashed just 30 seconds after launching from Bowen in North Queensland. The Eris-1 rocket, developed by Gold Coast company Gilmore Space Technologies, managed to lift off the pad in its maiden launch attempt before plummeting back to Earth in a dramatic failure. It's hovering, it's hovering, it's gone! It's gone! Oh, no! It didn't go. There wasn't sufficient thrust to actually keep it up. It, yeet, it slid straight off the pad. Despite the fiery end, co-founder Adam Gilmore said the company was still happy with the result, calling liftoff itself a win after multiple weather and technical delays. Unfortunately, it, w it went sideways. I believe that's the end of the Eris rocket. The historic launch marked the first of its kind from Aussie soil in over 50 years. Gilmore Space, backed by federal funding, hopes to eventually send satellites into orbit and help grow Australia's emerging space industry. We want to do better next time. Oh, there was a boom. That's the rocket exploding. It blew up. <laughs> yep, it blew up.